before we finish this most enlightening interview, say some words, please, some details about Amy Ashwood Garvey, first of all. Amy Ashwood Garvey, co-founder with Garvey of the Universal Negro Improvement Association African Communities League. A very sparkling personality, very charismatic figure. If you have heard speeches that she has made, uh, she was a very influential personality and a very dynamic personality and a creative person. Um, she, of course, was married to Gabby for sh very good friends, got married, and the marriage wasn't, did not last. It fell apart. It fell like apart, that. right? Uh, but she continued her Pan-African journey uh, in London, where she had a restaurant, and she was active with the people like George Padmore and C.L.R. James, mm -hmm. and um, also the Trinidad uh, Marxist, uh, what's her name, Claudia Jones, okay. right? Uh, who was the pioneer in the, not the carnival in, in England, in Notting Hill Carnival, carnival pioneer, and a newspaper publisher. Uh, Ashwood inspired her. Ashwood was also involved with <coughs> Liberia, was good relationship with Tubman. Tubman. So she visited the African continent several places, and yeah, Marcus was not able because of the British ban, refused to give him permission to go to Nigeria in 1922. So she did what he was unable, prevented from doing. Uh, one of the projects which we're going to be working on, that she died in 1969, but no one remembers where she was buried in Calvary Cemetery. So I'm working with the Roman Catholic archivist Peter Espute and the um, Dr. Shani Roper, uh, who is a research officer at Liberty Hall, mm -hmm. to get a group of people to comb through so we can have her grave restored and recognized. Uh, we have to do better than that in how we treat our ancestors. We know where Amy at, at Jake's was buried um, in the halfway tree Anglican church and that's uh, well maintained but we have lost track of Ashwood. So that is an outstanding task that needs to be done uh, with the, between the Catholic Church and really the Institute of Jamaica to locate where the burial spot was. Apparently, the Catholic Church documentation um, was burnt out in a fire. Mm -hmm. So that creates uh, a gap in terms of our knowledge. But as we <clears throat> Say something about her importance for the 1945 Pan-African Conference. Yeah, I'm glad you, I'm glad you mentioned that. Um, in the documentation of the 1945 Pan-African Congress. She made a brilliant speech on the role of women, and I would say she's a pioneer in the gender focus in the Garvey movement and in Pan-Africanism at a time when, as you know, patriarchy was endemic and strong and accepted as the norm. She helped to ensure that the contribution of black women that contribution was duly recognized. But it was key <coughs> to the whole UNIA and to yes, almost yes. every yeah, civil rights key. and it black power key. organization. Isn't that key. so? That was so. Uh, but she, it took the woman to ensure that it happened. And when you read the conference, particularly 1922 convention, women were in uproar because they were making critique and affirming their role as leaders in the movement, not only accepting what they were assigned. So 
a vibrant discussion was taking place within the framework and she is part of that very independent in her thinking and in her way of being in the world again somebody who never worked for anybody um, in her life didn't, didn't go to work at nine to five and so on so you have to find the ways and means of sustaining yourself and being master of your own uh, destiny.